Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I had to grab a coffee because this is going to be a long one. We're doing some deep cleaning and carpet cleaning in the master bedroom, some fall decorating in the bathroom, and just an overall whole house reset for the week. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and if you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I would absolutely love to have you. It's totally free. You'll just be notified when I post a new video. And thank you so much to everyone who stopped by today, but let's get this messy whole house clean started. Almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. My favorite starting point is always my bed. Once I get my bed made, I feel a thousand times more motivated to take care of the rest of the house. I'm also going to be dusting in here and wiping down furniture, the ceiling fan, the mirrors, and also the windows. Just giving this room a really good deep clean because it has been several weeks. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. Drop in the comments below what y'all are up to while you watch today. Are you tackling a room in your house or are you just hanging out? I always love cleaning days like this because I know that at the end I can relax and wake up slow the next day and that is the best feeling. And also I didn't want to forget to mention I'm going to be sharing a delicious crock pot recipe at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. Crock pot recipes are my favorite lately. They're super easy and always really delicious. sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I love Scentbird. I've talked about them before, but it's a fragrance subscription company where you get to choose one designer fragrance each month for just $17. And they come in this really pretty sleek packaging. And what I love about it most is you can just twist down, twist up. And when you twist it down, it can't spray in your purse. Love that. And then you can take it out like this. It is a pretty large supply. It lasts 30 days. I usually find that it lasts longer than 30 days, but it is a 30 day supply. And this is one of my new favorites, the Commodity Milk, and there's several of those that I love. But my last favorite, and my last one that I got, um, was the Chloe perfume. As you can see, I used that whole thing. This was about two or three months ago, and I love that perfume so much. I'm a huge fan of Scentbird, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about all of the ones that I love recently. If you're like me and you don't like spending large amounts of money on perfumes, especially when you don't know if you're going to love them yet, this is the perfect subscription for you. This first fragrance here is Raw Spirit Summer Rain, and it is a mixture of bergamot, 
lime leaves, orange flower, mint, and cedar wood. Very warm, but still very feminine. I love that one. The next one here is Commodity Gold, one of my new favorites, and it is a mixture of ISO E Super, Vanilla, Amber, and Sandalwood. So cozy and warm for fall. And the next one is Story Venetian by Valmont. Just bloom, and it has Lily of the Valley, Gardenia, and Ambergris. Much more floral, but still really warm and a beautiful fragrance. And the next one is Commodity Milk, another favorite of mine. It's a mixture of cashmere woods, musk, tonka bean, marshmallow, and amber. So warm and sweet. Love this one for fall. Make sure to click that link below and use my code Lauren55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's only about $8 for your first month, so you cannot beat it. And I also have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada, so definitely check them out. And thank you so much to Scentbird for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. Okay, so this is something new that I've decided to do. I opened up my notes app in my phone and I'm making a list for home improvement, anything that I want to change in my house in the next couple months and I'll just work on it little by little. And so as I was going through each room, I was thinking about stuff that always bothers me but I never really take the time to fix it. For one, the curtains in our bedroom, whenever I installed them, I didn't install the rods high enough and so the curtains kind of puddle on the floor a little bit too much and that always really bothers me so I put that on that list. I also added paint the doors in our bedroom because I did paint them but they need one more coat and I've just been putting it off so I need to do that and then also I've always wanted a floor length mirror but on the wall like attached to the wall so that I can move that other floor length mirror in the bathroom so just little things like that as I'm going throughout the day I will make a list like that and that way little by little I can chip away at it and hopefully tackle the list. Okay, so this little mystery stain it just appeared on my rug one day and so I decided to go ahead and steam clean in here. I also spilled coffee over there by that mirror not too long ago because I was putting my makeup on there and I don't know if Oliver knocked it over or what, I, what happened but 
there's a little coffee stain there too so I whipped out the steam cleaner I'm gonna go ahead and leave the little concoction that I used to steam clean in the description box below it works so well and you don't have to spend like 25 bucks on the steam cleaner fluid at Walmart um, it's just hydrogen peroxide um, it's your favorite fabric softener some Dawn dish soap and then one other ingredient I'm trying to think of what it is and I can't think of it right now but I will leave that in the description box below in case y'all want to try it but it made our carpets look so good I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did. But I promise, dear, I'll never let you go. So don't let go, get close to me. Oh, don't let go. Today's video is in collab with my sweet friend Bree. She makes videos about motherhood, homemaking, and everything in between. She is a mom of three, and she has a cute little boy the same age as Oliver, so I've loved following along her journey as a mom. And also, y'all, her recipes are top-notch, and her little family just does lots of fun things, so make sure to go check her out today. I will leave that link in my description box below. Let her know that I sent you, and if you're over from Bree's channel today, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I want to say something clever to get in your mind Cause right now we're not together and I lose my way then Oh I feel so much better whenever you're around Whenever you're around Yeah yeah Whenever you're around Whenever I always love the way that this concoction makes everything smell and this always really freaks me out the water when you're done steam cleaning it's so gross that's what our just our master bedroom had so so nasty we're gonna dump that out and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the master bathroom As much fall decorating this year as I did last year and so I decided to kind of transform this bathroom into fall I wasn't going to but then I was like that green plant is just not giving me the fall vibes that I need in here so I decided to switch that out for a fall plant and we're going to be adding some fall soaps I put that on my grocery list as I was cleaning that's another thing I do other than the home improvement um, I usually make a grocery list as I'm cleaning of stuff we need. I also needed toilet paper and paper towels and some other random stuff. So we made a list of all the stuff we needed, but I'm going to add some fall soaps in here, a little fall flower arrangement, and then also some fall colored towels.
Okay, so to give this bathroom a few fall touches, I added this amber glass vase with some fall stems. And I love the way that that looks in the middle there. I am going to be doing a little makeover on this bathroom pretty soon because we've got several different styles going on in here and it's bothering me. And I really want it to be really pretty, rustic glam, and just have a lot more going on in here. But for now, I think this is really pretty and it's cozy for fall. Look out, here she comes. Too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks Giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close One of my toxic traits is I put all of the clothes that I only wear for like five minutes right here so I don't have to put them in the dirty laundry but I also don't feel right really hanging them back up in my closet so I just throw them there but I did go ahead and put those away today because they can't just sit there all the time and now we're just going to vacuum up the floors in here and move on. Now moving into Oliver's nursery, I'm just straightening up, putting toys away, and then I'm also going to strip the sheets on his bed and wash those up. I'm also going to strip the little sheet on his changing pad and wash that, wipe down his dresser, and just kind of reset everything in here. You're shining your shoes, but hey, I got news, I ain't falling for all of that glitter. This time, as ready as I can be, this time. Fire 
Now that his room is taken care of, I'm moving into the kitchen nook. I'm just going to straighten everything up in here. This is kind of like our catch-all zone, plus where we eat, so it just gets really messy. I'm going to straighten it up and wipe everything down, and then move into the actual kitchen to do some dishes and wipe down the counters and get everything cleaned up in here. This right here I had to put in the video because Oliver took his little piece of toast that I gave him this morning with butter on it and he was trying to feed it to Opie through the door when we had the blinds up and so he smeared butter toast all over the door so I'm taking some Windex and wiping that down real quick. Normally I would just take my Dyson and vacuum everything up in here, but after I cleaned Oliver's nursery, we put him to bed, and so I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> so I'm just taking my broom and sweeping everything up in here and just getting it the best I can. Now I'm just throwing some dishes in the sink and then I'm going to wipe down the counters in here and wipe down all of the appliances. I'm also making note of all of the things that were missing in here like coffee cake cups. We ran out of those. We ran out of paper towels. We were in desperate need of going to the grocery store. So the next morning I woke up and ran to Walmart with Oliver and we got all of that taken care of and that's also when we picked up the stuff for the crock pot recipe. So this was a two day whole house clean with me. I cleaned the master bedroom and the bathroom the first day. I finished up the bathroom and the rest of the house the next day. And then the third day we made the crock pot recipe first thing in the morning. So that's the layout of this video, but we're just getting it all done the best we can with the baby. It's hard, but we're getting it done. <laughs>
there's no better feeling than getting a space really clean and then lighting your fall candles the best. So we went ahead and lit that candle on the stove. We're just gonna take care of the rest of these countertops and then we're gonna move on into the living room. Now headed into the living room, as you can see, it was a disaster. <laughs> Oliver's toys everywhere, just pillows destroyed and diaper bag. Our decorations are all over the place because we're trying to um, keep Oliver alive <laughs> at the moment. And so that glass pumpkin in the middle of the coffee table is not really ideal. I am gonna put it back for today, but we're having to just do what we can um, to toddler proof everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything since it's nighttime and he's asleep, but we really are going to have to go through our house pretty soon and just kind of toddler proof everything and probably just leave it that way rather than having to reset everything every day because it's just getting to be a pain. I, I confess, I Okay, so tonight for dinner we're making roast and I just picked up a chuck pot roast from Walmart. And this is the recipe that my mom always used growing up. It is so delicious and so flavorful. And this is just a super easy recipe to throw in in the morning and then have dinner ready when you get home because it has literally every ingredient in the crock pot, so it's amazing. Um, we just use a brown gravy mix, an Italian, the zesty Italian dressing packet, and then a ranch seasoning packet. And I just throw all this in there with the roast and the onion and the carrot and the potatoes with a fourth cup of water and let it cook on high for like five or six hours. And this is so tender by the end of the day, so delicious. And I'll show you the after when it's all done, but let's go ahead and get this together. This is one of my favorite crock pot recipes ever. It's so easy and it tastes amazing. You literally just plop the roast in there, all of the veggies and sprinkle the seasonings on top with a fourth cup of water. And there is nothing better than a clean house and an easy ready meal. So relaxing. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's cozy fall clean with me. Make sure to stop back by on Thursday for lots of my favorite easy fall meal ideas. And also don't forget to check out Scentbird in the description box below. And I will see y'all later. Bye.